Welcome to the Chicago Bugs Bank Game series of instructional videotapes. There are three tapes in this series, basic, intermediate, and advanced. These tapes will help you to understand how to plan and execute bank shots in a variety of pool games like one pocket, eight ball, nine ball, and of course, banks. Your guide through these informative and entertaining tapes is Leonard Chicago Bugs Rucker. Bugs has been playing pool since he was 17 years old. He's played in many professional pool tournaments against some of the top players in the world. Although he plays many games, he's best known for shooting banks. So you're in luck, because if you want to learn how to shoot banks, you'll be learning from one of the best. My name is Leonard Rucker. You probably know me best as Chicago Bugs. Thanks for buying my basic bank tape. Bugs will start showing you the specifics of each shot in a moment, but first, let's explain a few things. One way of lining up your shot is called the three-line method of aiming. You start out by drawing a line from the object ball to the rail. From that rail point, you draw a line to the cross-side pocket. Then draw a line from the object ball to the side pocket in front of you. The point where the lines touch each other, you make a line to the rail. That point is where your object ball has to hit for it to go across side. With this method, use center ball only and no English. Most of the time, though, your opponent will not let you mark up the table, so practice this at home. Then you'll know where to aim. Another way to help aim your shots is for you to understand the diamond system. It is based on aligning your shots according to the diamonds on the edge of the table. All the shots in these illustrations are possible by hitting the cue ball in the center. Any English applied to the cue ball will cause a deflection that will affect the point the cue ball contacts the rail. So, no English. You should practice controlling the cue ball by trying each of these shots without an object ball, then adding the object ball as you feel more comfortable. If you shoot this soft, you can aim to hit diamond number one. Shoot it medium or harder, aim one quarter of a ball past the number one diamond. This is the same principle, except it's for the side pocket. You start at diamond number six and hit diamond number five. Your pocket is number four. A little imagination here. Hit about one and a half balls past diamond number two. When it hits the second rail, it should hit about one and a half balls past diamond number one. It should be hit with medium speed. You are starting from the corner diamond, diamond number four. Aim to hit diamond number two with slow speed. If you shoot it with more speed, hit to the left of diamond number two. You are starting at diamond number two. Aim to hit diamond number one soft, or just to the right of diamond number one if you want to use more speed. You are starting at diamond number two. Aim to hit about one and a half balls to the right of diamond number one. You want to hit this with a medium to firm stroke. Once you've completed the practice shots, now it's time to start talking about how you can apply English to the cue ball. In order to help you determine the amount of English you should use to make each of the shots, we'll be showing you this diagram of the cue ball each time. On it, we will display the point of contact for the tip of your cue, from your perspective. It could be one or two tips from center, either left or right, low or high. At no time will we be hitting the cue in the danger zone, shown here in red. Hitting the cue in the danger zone will cause it to miss cue every time. Under the cue ball illustration, you will be able to read the amount of the object ball you should contact with your shot. From full face to thin left or right. Enough for now. Let's hear it straight from Bugs himself as we begin tape one, Basic Banks.
this is your basic cross side. This, you just hit right in the face with center ball anglers. Okay, this is the same shot, only it's a different angle. But you hit it the same identical way in the face, in other ball, and center ball. This is a real difficult shot, but it's basically the same thing. You have to get in the air to hit it in the center. If you don't, you'll overcut it a little bit. Remember, when you're shooting cross-side shots, use the equal angle in and out method for aiming. This is a difficult shot. This, this you have to use two tips left, one third ball with angles. This is basically the same shot as the last one. Only I am at a different angle. I use two tips left, one third ball, and I English it in. Now this is the basic cross side. This is, we would say like a 50-50 chance, a 60-40 chance to make. I'm using two tips left, one third left ball. Now this is a real difficult shot. This shot is tougher than 14 mother-in-laws, including my own. I'm going one in the side, basically. I only have a half a pocket. But what I have to do is get up high on the cue ball and two tips left. Ooh, I made a tough one there. Okay, this is a difficult shot. This is not like the last one because I don't have any angle. I have to hit the cue ball dead center and hit the 13 dead in the face. This is a difficult one in the side because you have to have the right amount of speed and everything. Too hard or too slow, you can't make it. You gotta hit dead center both balls. That looks good. Some cross-side shots are easier to make with English. On the one in the side shots, you have to shoot for feel, nice and soft. This is the kind of difficult shot. You have any? You don't have any angle, so you have to have an imaginary stroke that you're coming in facing of the ball. See, I'm shooting at the white part of the ball with no English, but I have to float the cue ball across it because it's a kiss. This is basically the same shot. You don't need any English or anything. You just come through the face and on the ball. I'm shooting a difficult cross side. One of the toughest ones in the bank game. I have to reverse this ball, so I have to hit two tips left and two tips low. There it is. Got that one. Now this is triple difficult. I really forgot how to make it myself, but I'm gonna try to go at it right. This is all the way two tips left, and all the way one tip low. <laughs> Thank goodness. The cross side shots down toward the foot rail use center ball. As the cue ball comes closer to the side pocket, you cut it more and use more English.
Okay, this is called straight back. This is the tough shot. But it's really easy. You just hit it in the face with two tips left. That's it. This is the tough back. It's about a half an inch off the reel. It's not froze. But I have to go two tips left and two tips low. What you say? Okay, this is a tough straight back. I'm going at it again. I have to hit two tips right, two tips low, and cut it just a little. Jeez. These straight back shots are tougher to make, but don't get discouraged. Practice. Now this is one of the basic straight backs. This is easy as it get. Because you don't need any English or any time. Sometime I use one tip to the right, but usually you can just hit this in the face and other ball. Now this is a little more difficult, but you hit this with the dead ball too. All you do is move the cue up a little. It's a little degree of difficulty because you don't have angle. I usually use right, two tips right to make it, but you can make it with the dead ball with no angle. Okay, this is a pretty tough shot to the left here I'm going. I could use English, but I like to shoot it with the dead ball shot. Dead center, no English at all. Yeah, that's it. Remember, shoot these shots with center ball, then practice with adding some English. straight back to my right, center ball, no English at all, I just want to hit it in the face to duck the kiss. Mm -hmm. This ball is about a half an inch off of the reel, it's not a real difficult shot, should be able to make it if you just use no English and hit right into the ball, center ball and all. This ball is about a half an inch off of the rail, and to, to turn it around up under me, I have to imagine you use two tips left and one tip low, but I'm still using the kind of dead ball where it doesn't spin. This is one about a half an inch from the rail, and I'm going to use center ball this time. No English at all. I'm going to attempt to cut it straight ahead in the middle. No English at all. Mm -hmm. Now this time I'm going to approach it. I'm going to attempt to make it with outside, I mean two tips right. And one tip low. This is a great opportunity to use different English to shoot the same shot, but the cue ball winds up in a different shape or position that you need to make the next ball.
Okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to attempt to make this ball cross corner, but I don't have a good angle, so I have to get in there to use the dead ball. I want to contact both balls in the facing of each other. Otherwise, I'm hitting one in the face, and I'm aiming at one. Now this is a little less degree of difficulty. This one shouldn't be that hard. And use the dead ball again, and you hit dead in the face of the object ball. It should carry to the pocket. Shooting this shot cross corner is not a difficult shot. It's just really hitting where you're looking. I want to hit into the facing of the ball with the cue ball with center English, none on it. A lot of people miss the cross corner shots, so practice them and you'll have an advantage. Now, this is a little difficult shot here. This is a tough shot for anybody. But the way you make this ball, it's about maybe an inch and a quarter off the rail. But you got it, you don't have any angle, so you have to throw it in the pocket. So you will use two tips right and one low. Because you're going to have to throw it over. This is the only time you use English to cut ball. Okay, I'm about an inch away on this shot, and I'm going to have to make this one with one tip right, one tip low. Now this is about a, this is a kind of tougher shot than the last cross corners, because you don't have the angle. You have to know how much English to use. And it's about an inch off the rail. So you just hit it in the face with a lot of English. That would be two tips to the right and one low. This, I'll hit two tips right, one tip low. Yay! Yeah, easy shot out of here. Shoot these shots hard and they'll play short. Find the speed that's right for you. to bank this ball cross corner. It's the only bank on the table you can't roll. You use center ball, you approach the ball in the same spot. Center, in the, you use center ball on both balls. Then I cut loose. Now this ball is about an inch off the rail. You don't need any English or anything. You just really hit this ball in the face. I used to bet I make that shot every time. This is the shot I was teaching you about the diamond system. This is about a, it's about a half an inch off the rail, or maybe an inch, but you don't need any English. You have to use the dead ball, so that means center ball only, and hit it in the face. Do you remember the diamond system? This is the shot that'll teach you. This is a real easy bank. It's no trouble with this ball. You should be able to make it with blindfolded. It's about an inch off of the rail, so you don't need any English. You just hit dead center.
this is a very easy bank of about an inch off the rail, but you have to put a little English on it, which would be two tips, two tips left, one tip low. Thank goodness. Now this ball is about a half an inch off of the rail. It's not a hard shot at all. You have to use two tips to the left and one low because you have to throw it in the pocket. Some of these shots were shown in the diamond system. So you can see that the diamond system is something you should be glad you're learning. Welcome to the second tape in our series, Chicago Bugs Bank Game, with Leonard Chicago Bugs Rucker. If you learned what you should from the basic bank tape, you should be starting to beat your friends. We'll be using more English in this tape, so you need to be careful about how you aim the cue ball. You need to know that the longer the shot, the more you have to correct your aim to adjust for the English you put on the ball. Remember, different tables have an effect on your shots as well. The age and condition of the cloth, the amount of life in the rails, and even high humidity will require you to adjust your shots. Hello, I'm Chicago Bug. Welcome to my second tape on Intermediate Bank Shot. Bugs will start showing you the specifics of each shot in a moment, but first, let's explain a few things. One way of lining up your shot is called the three-line method of aiming. You start out by drawing a line from the object ball to the rail. From that rail point, you draw a line to the cross-side pocket. Then draw a line from the object ball to the side pocket in front of you. The point where the lines touch each other, you make a line to the rail. That point is where your object ball has to hit for it to go across side. With this method, use center ball only and no English. Most of the time, though, your opponent will not let you mark up the table, so practice this at home. Then you'll know where to aim. Another way to help aim your shots is for you to understand the diamond system. It is based on aligning your shots according to the diamonds on the edge of the table. All the shots in these illustrations are possible by hitting the cue ball in the center. Any English applied to the cue ball will cause a deflection that will affect the point the cue ball contacts the rail. So, no English. You should practice controlling the cue ball by trying each of these shots without an object ball, then adding the object ball as you feel more comfortable. If you shoot this soft, you can aim to hit diamond number one. Shoot it medium or harder, aim one quarter of a ball past the number one diamond. This is the same principle, except it's for the side pocket. You start at diamond number six and hit diamond number five. Your pocket is number four. A little imagination here. Hit about one and a half balls past diamond number two. When it hits the second rail, it should hit about one and a half balls past diamond number one. It should be hit with medium speed. You are starting from the corner diamond, diamond number four. Aim to hit diamond number two with slow speed. If you shoot it with more speed, hit to the left of diamond number two. You are starting at diamond number two. Aim to hit diamond number one soft, or just to the right of diamond number one if you want to use more speed. You are starting at diamond number two. Aim to hit about one and a half balls to the right of diamond number one. You want to hit this with a medium to firm stroke.
Once you've completed the practice shots, now it's time to start talking about how you can apply English to the cue ball. In order to help you determine the amount of English you should use to make each of the shots, we'll be showing you this diagram of the cue ball each time. On it, we will display the point of contact for the tip of your cue, from your perspective. It could be one or two tips from center, either left or right, low or high. At no time will we be hitting the cue in the danger zone, shown here in red. Hitting the cue in the danger zone will cause it to miss cue every time. Under the cue ball illustration, you will be able to read the amount of the object ball you should contact with your shot. From full face to thin left or right. Enough for now. Let's hear it straight from Bugs as we begin tape two, Intermediate Banks. I'm going to hit this ball. I'm going to shoot it this way the first time. Center ball is three or four different ways you can shoot this shot. But I'm going to just use center ball and just cut it a little. I'm going to throw this ball over here with two tips right, one tip low. Mm -hmm. This is a very difficult shot because you have to reverse the cue ball and you have to cut the 13 past the 12 where it wouldn't kiss it. And so you would be two, tip, two tips left and two tips low. Okay, you can shoot this ball several ways. I'm going to show you the first way you shoot it. You shoot it with two tips left, one low, and you cut it a little. Okay, I'm approaching this shot. This is the second way you shoot it. I'm going to reverse this ball. I'm going to use two tips right, one low, and cut it a little. These short shots show you a different path that you can take to make the banks. You can see the effect of the different English. This is the shot I'm going to approach. There's several ways to shoot this. I'm going to shoot this this way with two tips right, one low, and try to throw it in the box. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the second way I'll shoot this ball. First time I shot it to two tips right and 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 one low. Now I'm going to the left side. I'm going to use two tips left and 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 one low. On the long straight back shots, you can see the transfer English work. Okay, this is a good frozen ball drill. I'm going to attempt to make all four of these balls straight back. I would use one tip right, one tip low. This is the ten ball. I'm going to attempt to make the ten straight back. That's two. Now I'll attempt to shoot the nine ball the same way. Okay, 
this is the last ball. I'm going to attempt to make this straight back with one tip right, one tip low. Okay, I'm going to attempt to bank all five of these balls. This is a good short shot drill for banks. Now I'm going to use one tip right and draw. Now I'll go for the second. Number two. This is number three. Number four. Number five in the last one. For these shots, with the balls being frozen, you have to concentrate so that you do not kiss off the other ball. Practice them from different areas of the table. Try to make them in a row. It's a challenge, as you'll find out. This is a good shot for hitting where you're looking. I'm going to attempt to hit the 15 and contact the cue ball on the way back. Got it that time. This is a good shot to practice hitting where you aim. It's a good eye trainer. Yeah, you missed this one. You should be shot at sunrise. You just one tip right, one tip low, and hit it in the face. My that hard. Now, this is a little degree of difficulty. I have to cut this ball and English it at the same time. But I'm going cross corner, so I would get down at the bottom. That would be, I would say, two tips right, one tip low. Okay, it's a little easy cross corner here. You just use one tip right, one tip low. Cut it past the side. Because I'm going to do a little showing off here. I'm going to shoot it with speed. This is a little tougher bank here. I have to kind of, they call it twisting it. So I have to use a lot of outside English. That would be two tips right, one tip low. These banks are a good example of different angles and different speeds that can be used for the cross corner shots. Now, these 
the very delicate shots. These are frozen balls. The, the reason you have to be real careful, you don't want to double kiss it because it'll be a bad shot. So I would approach this ball with one tip right, one tip left. Now this is another shot from a different angle. It's a little tougher. So you would have to put a little cut on it and English it at the same time. So I would go one tip right and one tip, two tips right and one tip low. This is a real delicate shot because you really have to duck the kiss here. So you, you would cue this dead center and force follow. Okay, this is another frozen shot cross side, real delicate shot. So I have to use one tip left, one tip low to get into the ball. This is another frozen shot. It's a little tougher, you know, because I don't have the angle. So I have to use, well, I'll use two tips left and one tip low. Now this is the same cue ball area, but I moved the 15 down about six inches, seven inches. But it's a difficult shot, but you shoot this ball with, with, with reverse English. So I'm using one tip right, one tip low. There it is. It's a good idea to practice these shots because all of them involve balls that are frozen on the rail. These shots intimidate many players, but if you can make them, you'll win quite a number of games. This is a frozen ball shot. This is a little tougher shot than the last time. You don't have an angle at the pocket. But I'm going to attempt to approach the ball with two tips right, one tip low, and see how it comes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a real difficult cross corner. I'm going to attempt to make that ball over there. I don't have an angle or anything, so I, I think I would have to hit that. Two tips left, one tip low. Woo! Okay, this is the cross corner, another frozen ball shot. I'm going to attempt to cut this ball with two tips right, one tip low where I can get it in the pocket, but I don't have to use as much English. Now this is another frozen ball shot. But this is honey sugar dropping from his heels if you can play bank on this one. This is kind of easy. I would get one tip right, one tip low. As I have. Yeah, that's a, that's a honeydew. Okay, this is the easy bank too. This is another frozen shot. You really, you really don't have to do much to this ball. I would just use one tip right, one tip low. Hit it in the face. This is the kind of tough angle, cause. You have to use a lot of English. I would use two tips right, one tip low, and see what happens.
There are some more frozen balls for you to practice. These shots are not as difficult as the last group. You have to pay attention as to how much ball you contact. Make sure you hit it hard enough to get it to the hole. These are called crossover banks. The reason they're called crossover banks is because you have to use English to keep from kissing the ball. Now, the way I approach the shot, I would use one tip right, one tip low, and shoot it slow enough to get past. Now, this is another crossover bank. Virtually the same shot I shot last time, only it's down a little further. You will look, use less English. I will go center ball here with nothing on it. Okay, this is a little, a little difficult, but not too, it's not too difficult. You, you shoot this one the same identical way I shot the last one. No English in that center ball and go cross. Now this is a real degree of difficulty here is about a 10 because it's real tough. You got to go around the ball. You can't shoot it without English because you're kissing. Now I'm going to attempt to go around it with two tips right one tip low. These shots will give you confidence in avoiding the kiss. You have to use English, then use the right speed. Okay, here's another bank similar to the one I shot before. Now, but only this time, I'm going to show you how to make this bank and play position for the eight ball at the same time. In case you were playing one pocket and you wanted to play position for, you needed two balls. And I would, I would get uh, one tip right and one tip low. I good, I hit it. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to shoot this straight back. This is a kind of difficult shot because I have to reverse the ball, but I'm not going to use any English on it, but a little draw, I would say right in the center at the bottom. This is like a crossover bank, only it's a straight back. But in order to duck the kiss here, you have to draw the ball and run it at the same time. But I'm using, I would hit one tip right, one tip low. You can show off here.
just cut these shots into the zone and watch them drop. Well, this is a, this is a double bank, they call it. You go two rails with this one. It's a good one pocket shot. And you also would have position on the nine ball. I would use two tips right, one tip low. to make it twice cross side. Okay, I, I wouldn't use any English here normally, but I would use one tip left, one tip left. I'm going to attempt to make this 11 ball twice straight back. Two wheel bank. I would use one tip left, one tip low. We'll see what happens. I'm going to attempt to make this shot twice straight back. It's the same identical shot, but I have to cut it a little more. One tip right, one tip low. These are good shots to practice when the pockets are blocked and you have to go two rails. The speed is real important here. attempt to shoot this ball twice cross corner and to make this ball I have to duck this pocket I have to cut this ball between the diamond and the pocket I will go across it with no English at all just a little speed oh well, I'm going to attempt to shoot the nine ball two rails on the side and uh, I can't use any English because if I do, I'll run into a kiss. Center ball, no English at all. Okay, I'm going to attempt to make this 11 ball cross side. It's a difficult shot, but I think I can make it if I use two tips right and one low. And the ball is about an inch off of the rail, so I shouldn't have any trouble picking it up. going to make, try to make the 11 cross side. I don't have any angle or anything, so I have to use my own imagination. But both balls are froze. So I have to shoot into the ball with speed to keep it from kissing. Guess I'll make it before 3.30. The lamb made up a butcher. Now, this is a difficult shot here. This is it's two in the corner. It's a frozen ball. And I think I have to hit two tips left and one low because I have to let it out a lot, but I'm going to shoot it with speed. It's easier to make this two rail than one rail. And don't shoot these too hard. Just avoid the kiss on these shots and they'll drop in the pocket. Now I'm going 
to attempt to make this two in the side from this angle, which is tough as I is. This is tough as wood leather. Now I would have to use two tips left, one tip low, and see what happens. Oh boy, how you like that shot? Well, this is a less difficult shot. It shouldn't be that hard to make this one, but it's basically the same two rails. So this time, instead of using English of any kind, I'm going dead center. This is basically the same shot, only I'm going to add an extra rail to it. I'm going to make it three in the side instead of two. And the ball's frozen in the center diamond. So I would, I would basically, I'm not using any English, I'm using center ball. On this shot, reverse English straightens out the ball as it goes to the pocket. Don't shoot this too hard. Shoot this shot firm. Now, this is a pretty tough bank because you have to, what they call, twist it. Otherwise, you'd have to hit up between that first diamond in the pocket and it English throws it back. So I would have to use two tips to the right and one low. There it is. Now, I'm going to approach it like this. I'm going to use one tip right, one tip low, and I'm going to attempt to make it back here in this pocket. Here's a good example of transfer English working for you. Don't shoot them too hard, though. We've come to the end of the second tape in the Chicago Bugs Bank Game series. You should now have a lot more confidence in banking shots off one, two, or more rails. Welcome to the third tape in our series, Chicago Bugs Bank Game, with Leonard Chicago Bugs Rucker. There are three tapes in this series, basic, intermediate, and advanced. These tapes will help you to understand how to plan and execute bank shots in a variety of pool games like one pocket, eight ball, nine ball, and of course, banks. If you learned what you should from the basic banks tape and the intermediate tape, you should be banking like a pro. By now, you've practiced all the important skills you need to benefit from this third tape on advanced bank shots. The shots we will be showing you are some of the most complicated shots in the game of pool, so don't expect to make them the first time. Like any other skill, these shots take time and a lot of practice. But the feeling you'll have when you make one of them in an important game can't be beat. Hello, I'm Chicago Bugs. Welcome to my advanced tape. Bugs will start showing you the specifics of each shot in a moment. But first, let's explain a few things. One way of lining up your shot is called the three-line method of aiming. You start out by drawing a line from the object ball to the rail. From that rail point, you draw a line to the cross-side pocket. Then draw a line from the object ball to the side pocket in front of you. The point where the lines touch each other, you make a line to the rail. That point is where your object ball has to hit for it to go across side. With this method, use center ball only and no English. Most of the time, though, your opponent will not let you mark up the table, so practice this at home. Then you'll know where to aim. Another way to help aim your shots is for you to understand the diamond system. It is based on aligning your shots according to the diamonds on the edge of the table. 
All the shots in these illustrations are possible by hitting the cue ball in the center. Any English applied to the cue ball will cause a deflection that will affect the point the cue ball contacts the rail. So, no English. You should practice controlling the cue ball by trying each of these shots without an object ball, then adding the object ball as you feel more comfortable. If you shoot this soft, you can aim to hit diamond number one. Shoot at medium or harder, aim one quarter of a ball past the number one diamond. This is the same principle, except it's for the side pocket. You start at diamond number six and hit diamond number five. Your pocket is number four. A little imagination here. Hit about one and a half balls past diamond number two. When it hits the second rail, it should hit about one and a half balls past diamond number one. It should be hit with medium speed. You are starting from the corner diamond, diamond number four. Aim to hit diamond number two with slow speed. If you shoot it with more speed, hit to the left of diamond number two. You are starting at diamond number two. Aim to hit diamond number one soft, or just to the right of diamond number one if you want to use more speed. You are starting at diamond number two. Aim to hit about one and a half balls to the right of diamond number one. You want to hit this with a medium to firm stroke. Once you've completed the practice shots, now it's time to start talking about how you can apply English to the cue ball. In order to help you determine the amount of English you should use to make each of the shots, we'll be showing you this diagram of the cue ball each time. On it, we will display the point of contact for the tip of your cue from your perspective. It could be one or two tips from center, either left or right, low or high. At no time will we be hitting the cue in the danger zone, shown here in red. Hitting the cue in the danger zone will cause it to miss cue every time. Under the cue ball illustration, you will be able to read the amount of the object ball you should contact with your shot. From full face to thin left or right. Enough for the review of the basic skills. Let's hear it straight from Bugs himself as we begin tape number three, Advanced Banks. Okay, these are basically spot shots too. Now this is a two rail bank. I have to call it two because the 11 balls in the pocket. You basically have to have real good judgments to know where you're cutting the ball. So I would use center ball, no English at all, and attempt to make it in that pocket. Now, this is basically the same shot, only it's a corner pocket. I'm going twice in a corner instead of a side. But I have to go past this ball. I can't make it once, so I have to call it twice. So I'm going to shoot it identically the same way I shot the cross side. No English at all, twice in the corner. Hit this firm and aim about one quarter past the number five diamond. This has to be hit the same way. Aim about one quarter past the number one diamond. Practice your speed. We're into a series of spot shots now. This is one of the most common straight backs you can shoot. Center ball, hit it dead in the face. You should stop where the 11 left. Okay, I'm going to attempt to make this ball cross corner, the last ball on there, which is three balls up there. I have to hit the 15 without hitting the 10 and the 11. 
I basically, basically, I won't use any English at all. I'm going to cut across there with a dead center ball. There it is. Now I'm going to attempt to shoot the 11 ball, which is only two on the spot now, but I'm basically going to shoot it the same way I shot the last shot. No English or anything. I'm just going across the ball. Center ball on. There it is. Okay, it's only one up there now, so it's self-explanatory. I've been shooting other two the same way. I just approach it the same way I approached the last two, which would be center ball. No English at all. Put your cue ball across from the head string, one diamond toward center. Aim to hit about a quarter past the number one diamond and hit this medium firm. Aim to hit the rail about one inch higher up from the diamond. Flip the number one and number two diamonds, same speed, center ball, no English. Well, I'm going to attempt to make this ball one in this side. This is a very delicate shot. You have to have a real light stroke. It's like kissing your sister. You do it, but you don't enjoy it. So I'm going to attempt to shoot at it, but I don't enjoy it. You know what I mean? And you gotta add a speed and everything down here. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to bank this ball twice straight back over there. Because usually there's a ball in this pocket and a ball in this pocket. I can't make it once. So I'm gonna attempt to make it twice straight back to my right. And I'll approach the ball with two tips right, I mean two tips left. And, and one low. I was done. An easy, delicate shot. Also good for a defensive shot. You want to hit about one and a half balls past the diamond when it hits the second rail. This is a twice cross side. This is kind of tough angle because you really don't have an angle. So I have to tighten this ball up and pull it back. But I'm going to use one tip left and that's it. One tip left. Now it's gone. Mm -hmm. Now this ball is about an inch off the rail. I'm going to attempt to make it three in the side. You can't use any English because you don't really need it. I'll just approach both balls in the face center ball. Hit this firm, but don't let the ball go airborne. Shoot this with medium speed, no English. This comes in handy when pockets are blocked. Okay, I'm going to shoot the 11 ball cross corner, but I have to duck the kiss. I'm going to simultaneously as the 11 ball crosses the cue, the cue stops and goes forward. See some juice on that ball. Now this is one of the most difficult shots on earth. 
I'm going to attempt to make this ball three in the corner. I guess I would go one left low, and that's it. That's the only way to make it, I think. I'm going to try it one left low. That's it. Now, this is another tough bank. I'm going to attempt to make this one three in the corner. Only I'm in a different angle. So now I have to lift this ball up and hold it. So I would use one tip left and one low. That's it. Yeah, I knew when he left home. Don't be afraid of the kiss. Be confident. You have to drive this ball into the rail firm. Here you need to draw the cue ball so the ball comes out at a shorter angle. Now I'm going to attempt to make this ball straight back. This is a tough shot because it's hard to get out of the way of the cue ball. If you don't draw perfect, you kiss it. Now I'm going to use center ball only. Just dead center ball, but I'm going to draw it at the same time I make contact. Now, this is a tough shot. I really don't know how to approach it myself, but I have an angle because of the the numbers on the ball give me a guide. So I'll, no English at all, I'll just make this, uh, attempt to make it cross corner with no English, dead center ball. There it is. Don't suck my blood. Okay, and this is one of the toughest banks I've ever learned to shoot. But to the human eye, it looks like a kiss. But I'm not going to kiss it. I'm not worried about that. But I'll have to use two tips left, one tip low. You have to draw the cue ball out of the way. Hit this thin and firm. Your opponent will leave this shot for you, so master it and make him pay. Now, this is the common straight back. One tip low, inch off the rail, straight back to my left. Okay, I just shot this shot before. Now, I can't see it to make it one straight back, so I'm going to tell you this shot is good for eight ball, nine ball, straight through one pocket, according to position you're in. But this is a good shot to know. It's very important that you know how to hit this shot, because it's a twice straight back. I can't make it that way, because I can't see enough ball, but I have to make it twice. There it is. Mm -hmm. Hit this square in the face with a little draw. This is also a good defensive shot. Hit this firm, square in the face. This is a very complicated shot I'm shooting here. You have to use a lot of English, you know what I mean, to even hit where you're looking. So you would use two tips left, one low, and then you would approach the ball. And 
That's a clean one. Okay, this is the same identical shot, only it's a little further back. So it should be a little easier than the last shot. But I still have to do the same thing I did to the ball previous to this. So I would use two tips left, one low. Now this is a very difficult shot. I'm going to attempt to turn this ball all the way around over here where I can make it cross corner. It looks a little impossible, but it can be done. I would use two tips left and one tip low. I might as well say that. There it is. This is a good exercise to hit what you're aiming at. A medium stroke here. If you hit the short rail by the pocket, you cannot miss this. This looks tough, but you can make it. Hit it thin with English. Okay, you can make this shot two ways. You can make it two tips left, one low, or you can make it two tips right, one low. So I prefer to shoot it with two tips, right and one low. I'm going to attempt to shoot this ball six different ways. But the first way I'm going to shoot it, if you were playing one pocket, I'm going to attempt to bank it over here. Most most guys are scared to shoot at this ball because they shoot it straight in all of the time. But this is the way I, you would use two tips to the right and then you approach the shot. Now, this is the same shot, but only this is the second way I would shoot it. I'm going to attempt to shoot it six different ways. But now, this is the second way you can make it two in the side here. But here, you don't need any English at all, just straight center ball. Now, this is a little. This is a little difficult here. This is a tougher shot than any other shot I've shot. I'm going to attempt to make this ball two on this side. So I have to cut it and use English at the same time. So I will use two tips left and one low. Hit that one, George. Now, I'm going to attempt, this is the fourth way I've shot in this ball. Now I'm going to attempt to make it two in the corner. I have to hit the short rail and then the long rail and then the pocket. I remember shooting this shot on Grady Matthews and I almost got ran out of town. Now this is the fifth way I'm shooting this ball. I'm now, this is a very delicate shot because usually if you cross it, if you don't use any English, you're a scratch cross corner. I'm going to reverse my cue ball, so I would use two tips right and one low. I'm going to attempt to make it straight in that corner down there. Okay, remember my first shot. I made it cross corner. I was a little, a little closer distance. This way, I'm going to shoot a tougher shot. I'm a little further back, and I have to do a lot more things to the ball. And the way you make it is you have to shoot past that corner pocket and throw it back on the rail. And I would use two tips to the right and one, one low. You need to shoot this with a medium stroke. Let the shot match your stroke speed. Center ball, no English. Let the English work for you.
No English here. Let the diamond system line you up for this shot. You have to use English to avoid the scratch. Nice medium shot. Use English here so you can throw the ball back to the pocket. Now I'm going to attempt to shoot this ball. I'm going to shoot this ball three different ways. The first way I'm going to attempt to make it three in the corner. So now to approach it three in the corner I would have to, I would say one tip left and one tip low. Let's hope so. Got it in. Okay, I'm going to attempt to shoot this ball. This is the second way I'm, I'm going to attempt to shoot this ball. Now I can make this ball four rails, but I have to put a lot of speed on it. No English at all. Center ball. No English at all. I'm going to attempt to make it four rails. This is the third, third way I'm going to approach this shot. I'm going three in the side, so I have to use center, one tip left. Have the ball hit past the side pocket on the second rail, medium speed. A firm shot, hit it full face, no English. Hit the second diamond on the second rail with medium speed. Now I'm going to attempt to shoot this four different ways. The first way I'll attempt to shoot it is straight back up under me. This ball will go back up under me, but I have to throw it with a lot of English, so I would use two tips left, one low. Well, this is the second attempt on the second shot. I'm going to approach to shoot this ball three in the corner instead of straight back. So this is a little, little harder degree of dif difficulty. So now I wouldn't use any English at all. I would just use center ball. I've made this ball a hundred thousand times for fifty thousand and better. Now this is the third third way I'm going to shoot this shot. Now this is a, this is a tough shot because you really don't have an angle. You have to have your own judgment where to hit. So I'm going to attempt to shoot this twice cross corner over there. I would just use center ball, no English at all. Okay, this is the fourth way I'm going to shoot this ball. But I have a little comment to make of a young fellow named Shannon Dalton, which is a young um, upcoming champion, remembers this shot because I knocked it in on him. I'm going to attempt to make this ball straight back. This takes a lot of English, so I would use two tips left, one tip low. You need to put a little draw English with medium speed on this shot. Use medium speed and no English and watch it open up. Sometimes pockets are blocked so you need to have a little imagination. 
Aim to hit one ball outside the corner pocket, medium speed. I'm going to show you a lot of ways to shoot at this ball. And the first way I'm going to approach to shoot is two in the side. This is the toughest way, I think. The toughest shot of all. But now I'm going to use two tips right and one low. And I really have to adjust my speed. I bet I'd make it different. That's the toughest shot of all of them, I bet. If you don't have any angle. Okay, this is the second way I'm going to shoot this ball. I'm going to attempt to make it two in the corner over here. I would suggest I would use no English at all, just hit dead center. This is the shot I made on Billy Cardone and made him throw up. Now this is my third approach. This is the third way I'm going to attempt to shoot this ball. Now I'm going to have to be real foxy and fancy here because I'm going to catch three rails. And I would use two tips right, one tip low. Okay, this is the fourth way I'm going to shoot this ball. I remember making this ball on a real good friend of mine named Willie Munson. He lives in West Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm going to attempt to make this ball three rails in the corner from this angle. This is a tough shot, but I'm going to try it. So I would use two tips right, one tip low, and see what happens. Okay, Willie, look out, Willie. Look out, Willie. Okay, this is my fifth shot. This is the fifth way I'm going to shoot this ball. This is real tough. I'm going to attempt to make it two in the side. I would use, oh, I would say one tip right, one tip low. This is my sixth attempt at this shot. You know, I shot it five different ways. This is the sixth different way. Now I'm going to attempt to make it three in the corner, but not in this corner, in that corner over there. So I have to hit the short rail, the short rail, and the pocket. But this is the shot retired Mike Siegel. I think I made it on him for a nice piece. And I'm going to use center ball, no English at all. That's it. That's it. Okay, here's another shot. It's similar to the last one. But I'm going to I'm going to attempt to make this one four in the side too. Well, I made this on my buddy Alan Hopkins, I think, at the tournament in uh, New Jersey. No English at all. I'm, I'm just going to hit it in the face. Center ball. I'm going to attempt to make it four in the side. Nothing to it. You know what I mean? Let the English work for you. Watch your speed. No English here. Medium speed. A good one pocket shot also. This is when you want the cue ball to go three rails and shape by the corner pocket. Hit this firm so it won't open up and be too long. It's a beautiful shot.
Earlier, the cue ball was a little off the rail. Now it's froze on the rail. Center ball, no English, and a lot of imagination, and watch the opposing player collapse. After you make this shot, they'll be taking your opponent out in a body bag from the shock of it. Ooh, this is a real tough shot here. What makes it so tough? that it's hard to get the cue ball out of the way. But I'm going to attempt to make a cross corner from here, but I have to duck the kiss. So I think I would be using two tips right, one tip low. Now I'm going to shoot a real difficult shot here. You don't see it that regular because I'm going three in the corner here. But I remember making it on a good friend of mine that used to live in Sweetport, Louisiana, named Buddy Hall. And I shot this on him and played position and ran out. Look out, buddy. Look out, buddy, Hall. <laughs> Here, you need draw English to avoid the kiss. On this shot, a firm stroke with draw English. Bugs was speechless after those last two shots, so I'll explain the next group while Bugs collects himself. This is a frozen ball shot. This will go straight back in the corner. In a lot of places, this shot is illegal in the game of banks, but it is legal in eight ball, nine ball, one pocket, and straight pool. But you have to shoot down on the cue ball and shoot away from the object ball. This is another frozen ball shot. This is going cross side. You have to shoot this the same way you shot the other shot, but you have to shoot it softer. This is going cross side. The object ball is inside the pocket three quarters of an inch. You have to use reverse English. Put two tips left and one tip low and hit it as thin as possible. You have to hit this firm to get it to the pocket. This is going cross side. This looks like you'll double kiss, but if you hit this firm, you'll avoid the kiss. This is going cross side. This shot looks like it can't be made, but it can. You need to put two tips left, one tip low, and hit the ball thin. You have to shoot this firm. This is going cross corner. Shots like this win matches for you. Hit this with medium speed and you won't scratch. Now I'm going to, this is relatively easy shot, but you really have to know what to use to make it. You really can use both sides of the ball, the right and left side, but I prefer the left side of the ball. So I'm going to attempt to shoot it cross side and make the cue come to real. Okay, 
There's a frozen ball up there, and I'm going to attempt to make the frozen ball straight back up under me. But I want to stay between the two corner pockets on each side. In case I miss defensively, I would be able to play safe. And I would use two tips left, one low. Okay, this is, well, it's not a tough bank, but it's, it's not an easy bank because you have to reverse the ball past the side pocket there. And you have to use a whole lot of English to reverse the ball. So you would get down two tips right, I mean, two tips left and one low. Okay, this is for a local player in the community named Mike Bandy that plays real good. I think I made this ball on him once. And it's, I'm going two in the corner, so I'm not going to use any English. I'm going to just hit dead center ball. This shot can be made with either right English or left English, so it depends where you want the cue ball to go for shape. You can also shoot this shot with high left and force follow stroke. The cue ball will stay by the end rail. You have to shoot this firm so it'll stay tight and not drift. This is a basic diamond system shot. A good one pocket shot. This is a bank I wouldn't advise anyone to try to make. <laughs> it's possibly at a goal. So I'm going to attempt to make a two in the side right here. And I would have to use two tips right and one low. Here we go. Okay, this is identical shots. They're just about the same, only they go in different places. I shot the last one two in the side. Now I'm going to attempt to go two in the corner with the 13. got a real, real strong shot here. It's real difficult because both balls are frozen. Now I'm going to attempt to make the 13 in the side pocket two rails. I'm going to dedicate this one to Roger Griffey. So I think he had a dose of it before. I think I would use one tip right center ball. Okay, this is the same identical shot I shot before, only I'm going to add an extra rail to it. And I'm going to approach it with a one tip left, one tip low. And I'm dedicating it to my good friend Miserec, because I'm just showing off. That look. Shoot this with a medium stroke. When you draw this, it avoids the kiss. Hit this square in the face with a firm stroke. Don't shoot this too hard, so you'll let the English bring the ball in the pocket. Shoot this with a medium stroke. On some tables, you might have to hit a ball or two up table when it hits the third rail. Bugs has shown you all you need to know to bank like a pro. Now the rest is up to you. Review these tapes as often as you need to refresh your memory of the skills you've learned. The confidence you need to make these shots in an important game can only come from having made them time and time again. Good luck. 
And if you do ever get the chance to play Bugs, you'll probably need all the luck you've got.